Say it in comments. comments. Welcome back to Satan Common, where we talk about it all, not just Dungeons and Dragons. I'm AJ Cannon. Seth Templin. Tyra Merle. Cameron West. We're back here in my bedroom. Yeah, about been to play a while. Some, about to play some Tiger Skull game. Yeah. Um, so this would be a good time to mention that uh, you need to go check out Tiger Skull RPG at tigerskullrpg.com and patreon.com slash tigerskullrpg and uh, go get some 3D miniatures along with a bunch of other cool stuff monthly for a low price man i'm in his discord and he just puts spoilers for stuff all the time like you don't have to look at it but i choose to look at it and dude's creating some nasty stuff yeah like, it's super cool i pulled up a video like cynthia i guess followed him on instagram and he just like it announced to her the other day that he was doing a live video yeah. so she jumped on there he waved at her and <laughs> but like even her who doesn't know anything about it she's like whoa that is a lot of detail yeah, he's super detailed. It's crazy. Detailed. And it's also, I mean, stepping in, we got the map here. Mm -hmm. Super cool. And then, yeah, I mean, if you want to just check it out, just go see what it's about. Uh, go look at the Instagram. And he has great prices. And then if yeah. you want an even lower price, you know. Patreon. Commoners 15 on. And all Commoners caps. 15. Get yourself 15% off. 15 minutes could save you 15%. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, go check it out. TigerSkullRPG.com and check it out on Instagram as well at TigerSkullRPG. Um, but anyway, keeping it common about The Commoners, episode 17. We finally made it. We arrived. We made it. Oh, man. We lived. <laughs> Y'all lived. We've survived. You didn't keep your captive very long, though. He, uh, I guess that was our bad. You didn't search him, and you pretty much said y'all weren't watching out for him. So yeah, I mean, we thought that after we got his spell book, like that he would pretty much be. I'll tell you what, like I couldn't believe I didn't build him. You know, I let Dustin build everybody, and I just could not believe he did not give him any kind of teleportation, like any way of getting out. And I was like, y'all were kind of talking about maybe y'all were gonna take all of his stuff, so because you had looked at it with your magical eyes, you know. Yeah. So I thought, well, I need to go. And I just got the papers, and then I was like, he's got a potion of gaseous form. He's out of here. I didn't even know that was a thing. No, I didn't either. So he just turns to a gas and floats to wherever. Yep. Is the bottle empty? Hey. Huh? Does, the bo does the bottle look like it's empty? I think it says it looks like something. Maybe Whirling Winds, maybe? Oh, okay. I don't remember. That makes sense. Maybe it's the invisibility potion that has nothing in it. I can't remember. Yeah. But, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty interesting. Yeah. I did not know that you could have a potion of gaseous form. So yeah. now he's going to be the arch nemesis, nemesis instead of us trying to turn him, which is what I was planning on doing. I don't know. I mean, Dustin, you know, he has an... Uh, uh, he he thinks he knows exactly what the guy did, and I kind of disagreed with him. Like I don't know, I, I played it off a little bit different, which was so maybe he doesn't go directly to the king. No, he would. I I don't think he'd go directly. That's like like Dustin said. That could be just a death sentence, and like, True. Bryce would not want to just throw his life away like that. Might go to like the nearest duke or something instead. Maybe he might just be following us around. Turned into a gas and then hid somewhere <laughs> on the ship. Yeah. And then ran off. Because, I mean, he would have been in the middle of the ocean. We should right. have searched the ship. The way that I thought of it, y'all hadn't really made it very far. So, like, he, like, I would say he, he didn't. Float yeah, on it's a very breeze. slow movement. Like, I think it's 10 foot per yeah. six seconds. So, but it lasts for an hour. So, I think he would have gotten close enough to the shore that he would have been fine. Let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. We went back to your town. Went back to our town. Nobody there. No. Nope. Nothing there. Solaris' house Solaris. is empty. I've got, I've got some ideas about Solaris. What's your ideas? Well, I don't know, really. Um, why would they not destroy his house? And why was all of his stuff clear? I think I tried to explain like that he just used so much magic that to build it and keep it that it was just pretty much unbreakable. It had damage. So so basically we're supposed to assume he lived and he got all this stuff out and left. Yeah, I guess. He didn't well, clear it never, out beforehand. Yeah, we never even saw him on our way through the town before the giant destroyed it. Like he was gone. There was no sign of it. Yeah, well then. he was y'all weren't there long. Like it was right. dark. True. But he wasn't coming out and defending against the giant, which he probably should have been able to. I mean how right, powerful is he? 
He was probably. I think he was gone before we got there. He he left yeah, for which some that reason looks or another. Suspicious to me. Hmm. I just I don't know how he would have known beforehand a giant attack was coming. I think he must have left for some other. Hornbeam just would have had to Jeez. told him. Maybe he works for the king. He just knew. Somebody I mean, came and told him. I mean, he's a. Uh, uh, he's probably in with the inkling somewhere. I bet we run. Well, into I'm, that's him. what I'm hoping. That's what I assumed because Evelyn knows him, and said they used to run around together. Well, didn't you say that that uh, Solaris was actually there at the mountain, uh, the dwarven? I think he mentioned it. But yeah, I can't remember. I think no, so. As I asked, didn't I asked, uh, uh, what's the leader of the inkling? Uh, Dalinar. Yeah, Dar- Dar- yeah Dar- You asked about Solaris. Yeah, and you said he was there. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, crap, I didn't realize that. Okay, well. If I remember right, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. He's got some explaining. I always planned on him to be there, yeah. Okay, so that's one thing we got to do. We got to go interrogate Solaris. <laughs> right. We got to go find Evelyn. We got to touch base with her. We've got to... I want Roran to build me something. I just haven't decided what yet. Yeah. I'm ready to learn more about my patron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's also that. See, yeah. a lot happened this episode. So did you, did you listen to it? Yeah. Did you listen to his deity talk to him? Yeah. I don't guess you know anything about it, though, Tyrell, do you? Well, I had already asked after we got done playing mm-hmm. if he was evil, and he said no, and then you told me what he said. Or you what think he's evil? When we had our what? Do you think he's evil? No, uh, the patron probably, but yeah. not Urist. Not Urist. Okay. So but what no. would you do like if your patron dropped you? Like how You'd have to kind of rebuild your character. What would you do? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, it's going to be interesting seeing where this goes. I really hope I don't have to rebuild my character. I don't know what, like, I really don't know... I don't know it's what you're. It's gonna be weird how it's gonna go. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen, yeah. but it's gonna be cool. I mean, I'll, this is I'll, what happens when you just say, "Here, I'm, I'm doing this. This choose whatever you want." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, warlock though. Where do you go from? Okay, so you you would lose everything. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, except your base stats. Yeah. It'd be basically starting over. Yeah. And you wouldn't even have a magical weapon, so you just have to. You'd just be a. I'd be a regular dude again. Yeah, you'd be a guy with an axe. You'd be a commoner. <laughs> Maybe a commoner with high charisma. No, he wouldn't even have the axe. Yeah. His yeah, axe would disappear. He'd have the one axe I don't know about that's oh, yeah. strapped to his back right now. Does Sorcerer use charisma? Yeah. Yes. You just go into Sorcerer. I mean, uh, that's what I'm planning on that's doing what anyway, to do eventually. Anyway. Already planning on leaving his patron behind. No, I'm multi-classic. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrell? What do you think? About... Anything. Anything. Hmm... We need some tat real town. I thought the inkling, the whole idea behind the whole secret door base, all that stuff was really cool. The, mount, the hollowed out mountain mm-hmm. on the inside. Yeah. yeah. I like that. That was cool. And it's a giant old dwarven city. Mm-hmm. Totally stole it right out of Christopher Pally and his Aragon books. Uh, I knew it! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Me and Cameron, uh, we hung out that one day we were walking. He was talking about, he said, that sounds something like that. Yeah, I could have sworn it was Aragon that that was in where they had... I have based a lot city. of this game off of Aragon, actually. I think. Yeah, you said, kind of said that yeah, before, we're, some we're, of the names and stuff you've got. Mm-hmm. We're going after Galbatorix in the end. <laughs> uh, not really Galbatorix. I, I, Galbatorix was so boring. Um, no. He was think, so hyped up, and then the whole, it was really anticlimactic. Yeah. Which I, I liked the way that Christopher Paolini actually ended that, but yeah, yeah it was... It was, it was it was a little anticlimactic. It was well done. It was just not yeah. exciting. Not a not a final battle to write a book about for sure. And you wrote four. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was more about the journey, I guess. Yeah. You know, they brought dragons back to the world. Yeah, Aragon's a great book. Y'all should read it. Yeah. Nerds. How's your book reading going? I was. I've, I haven't read them. Uh, Ain't got time. I finished the first Harry Potter book. Oh, nice. Those are good books. I started the second one. I could one. do that today. I could go home I was right about, now and finish the first one. I was about halfway book. through the second one, and I just haven't had time to read. They're stacked up right here. Yeah. Haven't had time. That's a hard, co- hard cover copies, too. Yeah, these are my sisters. Very fancy. I, I, I was thinking the other day, Seth, about uh, Draxus and what he might be. Oh, yeah? Just, a, just an idea. Okay. What is he? <laughs> okay. So you described him. I remember you said something about he had kind of elven features, but not exactly, not quite mm-hmm. different. He had kind of pointed ears. Yeah, he's more alien looking yeah. in a way. Yeah, sunken eyes, dark. Mm-hmm. 
Not really sunken, just kind of like dark. Like kind of a gaunt face. I think. It, did yeah. I show you a picture of him? I think you did. Yeah, you had some kind of real creepy looking it, portrait. I don't, I don't know if I showed it to you. I don't know. It creeped me out though when you were describing him. Like I was there. Yeah, it was like ooh. He doesn't look natural. Like the picture actually that I have might not be creepy enough for it. I don't know. But go ahead, keep talking. Along. Well, my thought was a good aligned dragon, maybe that has been corrupted or something, maybe possibly. That oh, was that like was, a metallic dragon yeah. that got corrupted by the yeah, like a shadow dragon, yeah. polymorphed oh, a, into a person. A yeah. good dragon, but it's been yeah, corrupted because the metallic dragons can polymorph. Yeah. They can turn like into a person and disguise yeah. themselves, basically. Uh, yeah. at, Where at, the chromatic ones point. can't. But if Draxus is evil and he kind of looked all dark and weird looking, yeah. So maybe like a chromatic or a metal dragon that was shaped by like like the shadow, like a shadow dragon. Like an ancient shadow <laughs> dragon, polymorph. Seth's keeping a straight face, so I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Tyrell sure. comes up with some interesting this. stuff. That would be really cool if that was. So it. what? What one do you think it'd be? What kind of dragon do you think it'd be if it was a dragon? <sighs> it would have to be a metal one if it could polymorph. Well, well I mean, it. unless you're using some other souped-up stat or something for some other dragon. Yeah, it could have could have homebrewed yeah. that other dragons can polymorph. Yeah. I didn't know that uh, only metal dragons could polymorph actually. Yeah, only the metallic ones can. J- that. That's in the the handbook, but I mean, you, whatever. I mean, We're all homebrew yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. More homebrew. Like, I mean, in handbook. I think it even mentions in the handbook, like you can kind of finagle with it, even with the chromatic dragons, and say they're like natural casters. Yeah. I um, think I think in older editions, I think they were casters. Yeah. yeah. That's that's probably something they kind of kept in there. Just Matthew like, Mercer, hey. his he had his his green dragon. It polymorphed. Up. Wasn't like yeah. Thordak? Wasn't he like some kind of like primordial dragon? Or I think at the end, yeah, he became one. I mean, that's. I mean, maybe yeah. we'll see. Could be a black dragon that polymorphed. Well, if good, we if we go with theory. the. Well, now I can't find the picture. I don't know what he is. I'm probably not gonna try to figure it out. I just know that he's scary. <clears throat> How long do changelings live? I don't know. That's a good question. Don't know I don't know how long do doppelgangers do. live, so I don't know. I mean, they're from, like, the far realm or whatever, so. Um. Anyway, off topic. No, it <laughs> could was be on, a it was on topic. Yeah. Is it pronounced lich or lich? lich. Like, I was playing... Lich. Yeah, I was playing, Lich. like, one of the Divinity <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah, I was playing, like, I was playing the first Divinity Original Sin, and, and one of the villains talks about how he turned somebody into a Lich. This is kind <laughs> of the picture that I think that I had. I think he had darker hair with, like, specks of gray, and so this is just completely gray hair, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think that was... I seem to remember him showing us something, but maybe it just yeah, described I, I it really well. Him darker than that. Yeah. Like, darker. Completely. I kind of I almost pictured him looking, I guess, kind of like a dark elf, but different. Yeah, the, that the, was kind of what I pictured. The picture I seem to remember that you showed us was, like, he had come, like, from a side profile. Yeah, almost. wasn't it full body? Yeah, uh, kind of, yeah, yeah. Like, I think it was a head-to-toe portrait. It may have been. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. I thought it was like from here up. And it, it could was like have been side. It could have been, but I. It's been a long oh. time. This. Yeah. So Gillard has been in the academy ten years, mm-hmm. and that was his mission. And he was just waiting for the right group to come and overthrow things. Well, no, his mission was to stay in there and just deliver anyone who got captured. Like if a, an inkling member got captured. So he he told y'all when y'all first started that he had the highest death mort like uh, death numbers of all the wardens it's because he they found somebody uh, they weren't volunteers so they would go straight to Bryce if they were volunteers but yeah. if they were brought there against their will and they needed to be let out he had potions or spells of false life or false death or something like that and he would uh, he'd fake their death he'd fake their death them. get them out and then give them like the Romeo and Juliet poison oh, okay that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Yeah, false life gives you like extra temporary hit points. For yeah, so it would be like feign death or something. Feign death, maybe, yeah. And then, but him as the Dark Spectre telling us to go kill everybody, did he just see that we would be capable of that? Like, yeah. He just saw potential? There's so many of you with all, like, it, he wasn't going to have to try to, like, 
other people has passed through. Like he would have like people he has had to teach people how to how to be black yeah. cloaks. Yeah. He has improved the empire somewhat, but also yeah. he's tried to sabotage wherever he can. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Like the guy that he fought was one of his protégés actually. Like yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah that one that, that went and attacked yeah. him. Yeah. That's right. He talked about that. I taught you better than this and all that. Yeah. Well, that the, was cool. I can't wait to see what Echo Knights can do. Yeah. The Academy was the coolest part so yeah, far. That was, that was really cool. Which, that was probably our longest stretch of in for one sure. spot. Yeah, we were in there for several sessions. Yeah. I can't remember what. Three or four, maybe? How many months that was it supposed to be? Like Two or three. I two, think. I think, that we were in there. I, I think it may have been like 11 that we... Episode 11 that we got in there? Surely not. We were in there for a, a while. Yeah. Like several, several sessions. It was pretty cool, though. and A, a lot of character I, growth, I thought. Uh, 11 was when we got kidnapped. So tw- we were in there from 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So five sessions we were in the Academy. That's awesome. Gosh, that was great. Yeah, yeah that was really cool. I can't wait to see what's next. So it's Inkling on like our headquarters now? That, that's Probably, our home yeah. base? Probably. That'll be neat. Yeah. Get to go It'd be there. nice to let y'all have a place to uh, just you know get comfortable at, call your own, then yeah. destroy it again. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna destroy it, or are you gonna? You might destroy it. Nah, it'll be fun to yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's what's next. So how did? What's the theory behind this dwarven city being like abandoned? That's just old, old, older than even Draxus really. Just. Uh, Lost to history. See, a, a bunch of this I had to come up with because, like, Kyle, back in episode, what, three or something when he I'm joined I'm looking up, for the gods. I'm looking for the gods. The Inkling care about looking for the gods. Yeah, we're like, trying to find oh, the gods. Well. Oh. And he went with monks, so I kind of, I decided to make it, it started off as this monastery that found the dwarven ruins first, and they kind of just kept a peaceful, militaristic kind of lifestyle there going, but still peaceful. Um, kind of like Shaolin monks yeah, or something. yeah. And then Dalinar, they, they like brought in Dalinar after they found him almost dead and he began bringing other people and created the resistance and just ex- uh, took their name. Yeah. So like they're still there and they might not even really appreciate what he's doing, but they yeah. allow it. Okay. It's pretty More out of like their own, I guess, non-aggression yeah. than anything. Yeah. It's going to be interesting in there. Get some Probably going to be some tension between Dalinar and those monks because he's, very, well, they, he's been working there for quite a few years now. So, okay, here's what surprised me was Duke Jank. Mm-hmm. Like yes. him, oh, that yeah. was a mm-hmm. twist. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm ready for that. I want to go That's talk good. to him, yeah. Yeah. sitting in on some meetings, yeah. that kind of stuff. Politics. I think Thrin's <laughs> going to have some questions for him too regarding his parents, probably. Yeah. Oh, so we're getting into Thren's backstory here. Oh. Okay. Now, remind me, did were they connected actually, or just they were from the Dying Lands? Well, he was kind of responsible for why they left, remember? I don't remember. Well, <laughs> to be completely honest. <laughs> you're going to have to those, do that was part yes. of like, his backstory is the reason they left was because of the like, experimentation or whatever he was doing on the okay. land that yeah. forced them out. So. Okay. It's going to be... I think I always just imagine that as like unhappy landowners like well we're leaving <laughs> I'm out of here yeah but maybe I, I don't know we'll see we'll see um I want to know what happened to Urist's mother maybe. she's been kidnapped by your dang patron <laughs> <laughs> Your father made a deal with him. Uh, I hope not. Oh, Lord. No, because he wouldn't even know. I was completely powerless before I, you know, when I left him. He, he'd know just as much about the gods as anyone else, I guess. He wouldn't know who yeah. the patron is or how to... I don't think I don't think he has anything to do with it. So how did you find out? How did this... Did the patron just talk to you in your sleep one night? Yeah, remember? It was in, like, our second yeah. session. We were fighting... What were they called? That was almost a the year Lemires. ago now. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, that was like a year ago. The mud monster thing? Yeah, those little muddy hands. And one of them, yeah, I went down. I was in the thick of it fighting them. I was like <laughs> taking point, and then yeah. they took me down. One of them was about to deal the killing blow. And Which uh, he talked to you before that. 
I think uh, even, oh yeah, yeah. For like the session zero. In our was, session zero, he talked to you. That yeah, too. session zero, yeah. you had a dream. That, yeah, that was just kind of more along the lines of like, I've got great plans for yeah. you though. Yeah. Nothing particular. It was just kind of like patron picked me for some mysterious yeah. reason. We're going to yeah, see. Accepted why. his power. Yeah. So yeah. You, and then you session two, he yeah. force fielded him because he was about to die. I don't know if I like. Did I say I had to accept something, or did I just kind of get it? I think I just kind of had the power all of a sudden. There was no like real pact made. Just like, oh crap! Maybe I not. can summon this axe. <laughs> <laughs> Mine turned to dust when I was about to. You summoning the axe kind of was the signature. Yeah. Yeah. Like as if you as long as you're using the power, then you've agreed to it. Yeah, because yeah, you like, had the dream and he was showing you weapons or whatever, and yeah, it's like okay, I, I'll do this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about what about the Tiger Skull game? Y'all want to talk about the oh, Tiger yeah. Skull game? Any? Last game we we looked and looked and looked for contraband on a boat and couldn't find it. Yeah. <laughs> we were on a boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I don't know really what I expected y'all to do. What y'all did was right. Like, that was good. I was just thinking... I was no. thinking there'd be a way, like, y'all get a, like y'all get the, the load sheet or whatever and look at everything and then realize, oh, there's three barrels that aren't on here. It's kind of what I was thinking. But having him have to go through and open it, like, I think that's what y'all should have done. Like, yeah. that was that was pretty good. That was, I mean, that's, I guess, I guess kind of what the police would do if they had a search warrant and came to your place. Yeah. They'd, they'd toss everything if they were looking for some kind of illegal mm-hmm. stuff. Right. And we didn't know what the illegal stuff even was. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you didn't know what you were looking for. Yeah. Yeah. We just, there's something that is not supposed to be here. I Fine. tried to sneak in and like find some secret paperwork and I don't guess there was anything I could have found or did I not roll high enough? I don't remember. I know when you were investigating his desk, you rolled really low. So I think I was going to give you something there if you'd rolled higher. But you were kind of in a rush because he was coming back. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I don't actually remember. I probably would have give you. I probably would have given you something there if you would have rolled high, some kind of note or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it would have been. I hadn't planned for that because you you approached it in just a different way. And I thought I was like, okay, they're going to like sneak on this ship at night. They're going to find the thing. They're going to do it themselves. And you're just like, no, I'm just going to go pin the guy down and question him <laughs> until he well, gets no, I, stuff. I tried to sneak on, and they yeah, couldn't find did. anything. Right. So yeah. Yeah. next step, I mean, yeah, that's kind of, that's, you wanted me to be the infiltrator spy yeah, guy. No, so I was like, yeah. well, I'll try that to do it. That was it. optional for this yeah. mission. Yeah. <laughs> and then Seeker's always like, I'm not very quiet. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's metal walking around. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to be hanging out with Seeker trying to sneak around. <laughs> But then, once the fight come up, do Warforge just have disadvantage on sneak? No, um, actually, there's actually like different versions of them. Originally, in the older versions, there was like an a infiltrator version of the Warforge. It was like a rogue class. They had yeah. sub races. For them. That's cool. There's actually like a, a, a caster version too, and a juggernaut version too. Why I mean, didn't they keep this? That sounds. I awesome. don't know because it's OP. <laughs> <laughs> Each one of them had their own stats with their own abilities, and like every single one of them, you could even be like a specialized version too that had like a built-in tool set into their body that they could use so like if you were a rogue you'd have like lock, lock picks, picks in your in fingers your fi- that is I uh, played a 3.5 edition and a guy I was a warforged one time and he never slept and he would just keep making scrolls all night like that's all he did was make scrolls scrolls of what I don't know can you remember. a caster I don't think so I think he just sold them I, oh. I, I, he actually it was a double uh, double gunslinger no it wasn't gunslinger but it was uh, the lo- uh, repeater crossbow so he just had two of those, and that was his thing. Oh, wow. He was always writing scrolls. I don't know. Maybe to sell and make money. I don't know. Writing scrolls. Yeah. <laughs> making magical, you know, making a ma- magical item. I don't know. I would love to have a really high-level <clears throat> transmutation or alchemy or whatever it's called. The ones that can make the Philosopher's Stone? Yeah, the, the, the transmuter. Yeah, what's... Trans- the transmuter stone? Or it's the... Something. I can't remember the which... What was that class called? No, I can't think. Well, I'm going to have y'all fighting some more. I need to get y'all fighting some more Tiger School stuff because you only have once so far. I've thrown in little fights, but, I mean, you're going to you're going to today. So, <laughs> you know, some combat today. But I, so far, it's been like every other one. I need to try to make it a little more often probably. But they're pretty big fights. I yeah. don't want y'all just, you know, like getting wrecked every week. And plus, I'm trying to level y'all up because some of this is pretty high. we're wrecking every week right now. You have so far. <laughs> I, it's embarrassing so far. 
Welcome to being a DM. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, y'all... You'll swing the pendulum two, a little too much and just TPK us. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, them two have super high armor classes, so I just can't hit them with anything. I've got powerful stuff and can't hit and them. And I'm staying behind them. And then you're just shooting with triple advantage from everywhere and rolling like 12 dice when you hit. So it's just pretty tough, this stuff that's got lower hit points. I could have beefed up their hit points. I mean, it gives you... On the on the Tiger Skull stat sheets, you have like optional hit points. It gives you like the the average. I've been using the average ones, but this one here uh, that I'm looking at here has 65, but then it's got 10 d8 plus 20. So that's 100 hit points if you were to max that. So I could do that if I if I had to. But this the stuff those skeletons and stuff y'all were fighting had low armor classes, yeah. so they, they were pretty easy to hit. But the uh, the crawling death ones; those are cool because you can you can auto hit with them when they do the bite attack on the ground. They're way more powerful on the ground because <laughs> they just get that automatically. And then as long as you can't shake them off, because it's a super high uh, strength save, and even when you can't shake them off, you keep taking damage. And I had that one that was on Marcus's leg for like three turns, and he did pretty good damage. <laughs> Just stayed latched there. So yeah, they're slower in that version, but they're also way stronger, more powerful. Yeah, because they can they latch on. To, if they can get that grab thing, then you're you're Instant screwed. Travel. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Tiger Skull game this weekend. After y'all listen to this, it'll be coming out. So and it's we're in not four. Yeah, yeah, Tiger Skull four. And uh, apparently, we're not going to be playing commoners for a long time. So busy. Busy unless life. unless we can play this Friday, maybe we could pay a Friday. I don't know. I mean, yeah. If if everyone could do it Friday, I could you know try and see if I can get that day off work. No. Okay. Well, well don't but, take off work for it. I mean, I I would just I would need to know in time to let them know ahead of time. Right. It's not like I would just call them that day. Hey, I'm not coming. <laughs> yeah, I've got a church thing this Saturday, so I won't be able to DM. I guarantee you, nobody can play Friday. I figure Tate will not be able to, and Kyle maybe not. But I can throw out a text and find out. Okay, well, anyway, while you're doing that, we can move on. <clears throat> oh, quick, Beyond Common, if you wanted to. Yes, tell us about the rap. What do you want to know about? Everything. Play it first. <laughs> I want to hear it again. <laughs> well, I can't play it right now. Especially not... I mean, you've got it. Yeah, we. I've got it. I think I've got it downloaded on my phone now. <laughs> I have it on my phone, but, I mean... I'll just pause the recording. I'm not gonna pause it. I'll just keep it playing. <laughs> You'll just have to. Well, no, I'll pause. Okay, so we just listened to the song again. We talked the whole way through. We should have been recording. Should have been recording. Anyway, what, what, what do you, what do you want to know? How do you do that? Like, just so, so talented and good. And <laughs> I mean, it's not really that hard to rap. I can't do it. You're that Eminem. You're nothing. I mean, Eminem was really good, but I mean, it took me forever to write this. Like, people that can freestyle, that's really talented. But like, I mean, I started out with something different than what I had. I started out, and I wasn't going to do a rap. And I started writing something, and I wasn't liking it. And then I thought, what if I did a rap? And then I somehow came up with last name Potter, first name Quincy. It's like, that's great. I was like, I'll just do that throughout. I'll just pick rap things that everybody knows, and I'll just play off of them. And then I was like, wait a minute, how do I rhyme with Quincy? So that was already a problem. I mean, it took me forever. Um, but then I just, I know the story really well, so I was able to recall stuff that happened. Yeah. And uh, anyway, that I mean, that's about it. It was just so good. Like, I, like, I love the railroad call out. Yeah. One of my favorite this parts. It looks like a railroad. It smells like <laughs> That was a decision to make because I didn't know if I wanted to looks like a railroad and sounds like one too. I ended up just liking smells better. I love the uh, try to kill us with a side quest, the wind to go. Yeah, it's It's one of my favorite parts. Uh, uh, I think the reason I like that so much, I think that was probably one of my favorite parts of this whole entire campaign so far, was because we almost died there. Yeah, that was. Oh, I was so scared. I knew it was it, and everybody wasn't even there. Yeah, I was just gone. I was sick. (laughs) When I realized that it was Wendigos, I was like, oh boy, this is not going to be good. Just me, Tyrell, and Anthony off on our own side quest. That it was. That was scary. Anyway, what would you have done if they all got killed? 
I don't know. Um, I, I think I actually talked about characters. it at the time. No, I think I... <laughs> like, these Wendigos, actually, they don't try to kill. They try to bring back to their home so they can eat you alive. So, they'd have woke up and tried to escape later. Another game. Oh. It's a good play. Yeah. It's, it's always good to have a safety net. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that, that was the song. And, uh... I just... I go 100%. Somebody yeah. challenges me to make a song. I'm going to yeah. make a song. It worked out really well. And then I was like, I got to go back through and do some ad libs. So I thought, well, what if I just did them as my actual self? It's like it's me and Quincy in the studio yes. together. <laughs> and I was having a blast. I would love for real just to like to do a video shoot and have you and Quincy <laughs> and both of them. It'd be horribly hard to record. Yeah. But it would be so, so funny. I really want to... S- We'd have to get AJ the whole cosplay set up. Yeah, I was going to say, I wish we could all dress up as our characters and do that video. Yeah. Or some other video something. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I think we could do it. I don't know how you'd be a dwarf. Well, I mean, I'm a halfling. I'd have to be walk around on our knees. <laughs> <laughs> well, but. Um, Critical Role did that, and Pike and Scanlan, they just they put them together. So they looked small yeah. every time, yeah. Well, they did. They just never put them with anyone else. Yeah, didn't have yeah. anybody to compare yeah. them to, right? Yeah. So if you know they're supposed to be short, then they appear short. All right, that's your Beyond Common. Seth, take us away on a movie minute. Okay. Um, this movie actually like swayed me on Netflix movies because it was so freaking good. Like it was so so good. Uh, the Devil All the Time with um, Robert Pattinson and Tom Holland. The Spider-Man and Batman. Um, Interesting. Very, very dark movie. Um, just kind of crazy. It was it was very much just worth a watch. Um, best movie I've seen on Netflix ever. I'm going to check that one out. Yeah. What's it about? Um, it's just... it's It's got four kind of different stories that are all kind of interconnected. And it's just like... Uh, how they all come together it's just a bunch of bad people meshing together and like um, just one how what like four different evil people's lives affect one decently good person and like how they deal with it it was just hmm. it's really good um. it spans like a whole it spans like 18 years actually like it's it's a really good movie like a lot of past stuff hitting up with present stuff and it's just everything I like dark sense. movies I've got it's very dark, dark movies it's very dark yeah after I watched Joker I realized I wanted to watch dark movies this is yeah you'd, you'd like this I think and I'm watching Maleficent it's, it's, right now Seth came in I was watching that I don't know if I'd call that dark, you would call it dark. <laughs> I don't know what happens yeah. but the first of it's very dark yeah I like villain movies yeah. where it like shows you how they became a villain and like humanizes them a little bit because you, you grow up watching movies and you see, oh, it's just the evil so-and-so. Well, what's their story? Why are they yeah. evil? They Why probably they weren't born like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, give them a little depth Yeah, instead of just another evil guy. Gets yeah, it's not in the just face, an evil, like, evil guy. Like this guy got like abandoned as a child or something. Or had something terrible happen to him, like they had wings, and then somebody came and cut him off. Mm. That was supposedly like in love with him. That was terrible. Yeah. That gosh, that yeah, that's terrible. I can't wait to finish that. Um, I watched a movie though. I watched uh, Instant Family. Have you seen that? One? Mm-hmm. Have you seen any, either one of y'all? No, I haven't seen it. Man, any we were scrolling through me and my mom while we were trying to find something to watch, and I was like, oh, I've seen. I had seen it on DVD, like, in stores and stuff. I was like, oh, we can watch that. I was like, anything with Mark Wahlberg, I'm always down. Mm -hmm. I just really like Mark Wahlberg. He can play, I feel like he can play any role. I just, like, believe him as a person. Have you ever heard any of his music from back in, like, the 90s? Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch? I have not. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. (laughs) Anyway, yeah. He started off as a musician, not an actor. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's still crazy to think about. He's a multi-talented guy. He's just one of those guys. I really like him. Anyway, it was a good movie. Really good movie about adopting kids. Not adopting, but um, foster homing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think well, they, they end adopt up them at the end. But yeah, yeah, the whole it's fostering that is it's shedding a light on the foster yeah system. I yeah. thought they did a pretty good job too. Messed up kids. Yeah. Bad messed up kids. They're out there. Have you seen a? I can't remember how I ever told you all about this movie before. Uh, the Devil's Double. 
Mm-mm. It's about uh, this guy. He he winds up becoming the body double for one of Saddam Hussein's sons. Okay. It's actually it's based on real events. Like this guy was the body double for one of Saddam Hussein's sons. He gets to, you know, live this life of luxury as if he is one of Saddam's sons. Like they treat him as if he's family. Mm-hmm. But he just gets to see like what horrible, horrible people they are, and just like kind of the awful things that this this guy does because he's he's a dictator's son. He gets whatever he wants. Mm-hmm. He sees like you'll see you know some young girl walking down the street and he, he'll just like point at his his henchmen that are with him, like I want her, and they'll just like nab her off the street for him and oh all sort yeah just like evil evil man the man that would sounds like a pretty good movie like, yeah he it uh, some dude like insults him at a party and he just straight kills the guy. No big deal. Just yeah, just, just no big deal. Like he, he loses his temper and like you know stabs the dude to death or something, and like everybody's freaking out. And he's just like he, he shouldn't have said that or whatever. He's like <laughs> goes into a rage and you know they just they calm him down. And he gets away with it. It's like whatever. People think it's bad living in America. I mean, I wouldn't want to work for a dictator. That's for <laughs> sure. Because I mean, it. Oh, the crazy thing, he didn't choose to do it. It's just he looked like the dude's son. Okay. Yeah. They they come to him with an offer They're like, "Hey, uh, we want you to, you know, to to be this guy's body double. It's going to be awesome." He says no, so they uh nab him off the street, imprison him a little while, beat the crap out of him and say, "There's a truck on the way to your family right now. You say yes in the next 5 minutes or we're killing them all." Wow. Does and, it end up being like an action movie or is it more just like a no, documentary kind of movie? It's more like a drama. Yeah. I mean, mm. like, there's, I guess there's a little action-y bits thrown in here and there, but it's not an action movie. It's just like you're, you're seeing this dude is body double for Saddam's son, and this is like in the middle of, I guess, probably like desert storm. So it's it's probably in like the 80s or 90s. Oh, okay. I see it way back then. It, it was, bef- you know, it was, I don't think it was post 9-11. It was like oh, pre-9-11. Okay. Um, is it on Netflix, Hulu? Where can we find this thing? I'm not. I, I'm not sure if it's on any of those. Oh, okay. I just know I found it on a DVD once when I was working at like a oh, okay. local movie rental place. So you haven't watched it lately. You just came up with that, right? Okay, <laughs> okay. I was, that's fine. I, I know it occurred asking. to me because we were talking about movies. Yeah, I got you. I thought you just. I thought that was something you'd seen recently. Tyrell, no. any movies you want to cite? Not that I can think of. Okay. I, mean, watch I feel like I watched another one, but I can't remember for the life of me. Yes, I can. Enola Holmes. Also, brand new on Netflix, and it was so freaking good. It's got Eleven from Stranger Things and... Uh, oh, yeah, Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, Millie Bobby Brown. And... Uh, Millie Bobby Brown. Superman. Uh, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, he's however a, you say he, it. Yeah, he's he is Sherlock actor. Holmes. And <laughs> it's really about her, his younger sister, and it's it, it was a fantastically. Dope Wait, movie. it's a, it's about Sherlock Holmes's sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's a a new book series that came out like the past ten, fifteen years or so uh, about, and it's it follows a Noah Holmes. Is it a is it still like a mystery? Like? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh yep. man, very I'm, good. I love very good movie. I enjoyed it love very much. Mystery. Yeah. I don't think you can figure it out. It's not the kind of movie that you. Can, figure out it just kind of has a twist at the end oh, okay. I, it's not one of those where they drop hints throughout no not really I like that kind of mystery added to but I'm sure I would like this too like Knives yeah. Out yeah yeah. it's not quite as figure you can't really figure it out like Knives Out but yeah. it's a good movie It's a, I, it was really good I like when you can figure out the plot twist in something they drop yeah. hints here and there yeah like did yeah. y'all have any of y'all ever watched Mr. Robot I watched a little bit of it. I didn't really. The, the first season? Yeah. Did you see the whole first season? I don't know if I even saw the whole first season. Aw. <laughs> there's a there's a pretty big plot twist towards the end of the first season, and I, as, as soon as I saw it, I just had to pause it and just like yell at my screen, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> they dropped hints throughout the whole thing, and I figured it out like halfway through the season. I was so amped when it turned out to be true. Yeah. I, I do just think it's something. Have you guys watched... Uh, the second season of The Boys. I haven't watched all of oh, no, it. I haven't no. even seen one episode yet. Do not spoil it. I've seen the ending of it. I will punch you I'm in not, the face. I'm not saying Why'd you watch the ending? The but Boys. It, it's the crazy. Boys. It's crazy. It, yeah, 
It's so we've no. talked about it. It's like it's about just yeah, regular dudes that are going up against superheroes. The superheroes. It's, are it's like if corrupt. superheroes were actually in the world today, and how like corrupt they'd be. Like businesses would own them. Yeah, they'd be corporate and, sponsored yeah. and just terrible, terrible people. It's absolutely how superheroes would be in today's yeah, world. Just like oh, modern yeah. celebrity culture. Yeah. You know, we go like, oh hey, Mark Wahlberg's great. He except committed hate crimes when he was a teenager. Yeah. Except, <laughs> except he has superpowers. Yeah. Right. Okay. Like, oh, this guy's done some terrible stuff. Oh, yeah. Boys. But he's famous and people love it. It's on Amazon Prime. It's like six or eight, six to eight episodes the first season. I think it's as many the second, but. Because I don't have Amazon Prime. It's yeah. one reason I watch it. It's the, season. like, the very yeah. the very first episode of the first season, uh, this guy's talking to his girlfriend and a speedster, like the Flash persona, yeah. runs right through her and just liquefies her. And like yeah. that's yeah. terrible. Yeah, yeah. it is just, terrible. And then he just he looks like, back and sees Sorry, the message. Sorry, I gotta go. He just runs off. Yeah, yeah. And dude's just standing there, and like all that's left of and his they, girlfriend like, are his, her hands. They try to pay him like a couple hundred thousand dollars or something to keep him quiet to sign a non-disclosure. Is it supposed to be funny? No, no. It's like a kind of I guess it's drama, dark action. drama action. Yeah, yeah. It's dark. You'd like it. It's got some funny stuff in it too, though. Yeah, it, it has funny times, but. Yeah. yeah, but that's not its focus. No. <laughs> okay, I got you. It's, it's super good. It's very, very good. All right, Tyrone. I read all of the comics really? that the show was based on. It's like so good. Them. Billy Butcher is yep. like... I'd like to read. He's comics. not a character that you like, but he's just a good <laughs> he's character. He's fun to watch. <laughs> fun to watch. That's it. That's perfect. Tyrell, I know this ain't a console, so it really it needs its own segment if we're going to be talking about PC stuff. Anyway... <laughs> Tyrell apparently has some good news. It's the master race. It is. Go ahead. You, got <laughs> you need to switch to PC. Well, okay, so I've been playing around with my PC, and I've modded Skyrim, which is interesting. At first, I was very confused. It I'd only watch, took him oh, half a year, folks. <laughs> well, okay, I did, it's a pain to mod at first, but once you get all of the, It takes that long because you get so many mods, and they can conflict and have problems. <laughs> well, it's it's just, so good go once ahead, you get it working. Tyrell. It's not just that. It's just it took me forever because I I didn't know how to mess with it, so I had to watch like a bunch of YouTube utor- uh, tutorials to get anywhere with it. First off, well, you're not just new to PC gaming; you're kind of new to PCs yeah, in yeah. general. I've never yeah, had one. been a big computer guy. So. But uh, anyway, I finally figured out how to do it for the most part. Nice. A lot of uh, external websites gotta go into to get a lot of that stuff yeah it's there's weird. a lot of work to it but oh my god well he's doing that you know I just platinum Skyrim on the PS4 for yeah, the second was, time but it was vanilla <laughs> who cares <laughs> it does, vanilla's better than the mods no, no it's not t- t- yeah, it's not because it took him half a year and he didn't play any well <laughs> hey if you're gonna keep playing it you might as well spice it up some way I mean Tyrell's it does look cool show him that, uh, that oh, show him that white run video <laughs> oh yeah you got a is that the white room video? No, this is a different. Oh. Turn it this way, I can't see nothing. What mod is it? It looks crappier than the it vanilla. It looks like, uh. What? <laughs> okay, but it also looks like Frozen. Like, is, are you playing Elsa? No, I made a drow, basically, more or less. Is what She's I made. blonde. It's white, but the sun's gonna make it, like, blondish. Oh yeah, the reflection of the sunlight. Yeah. I mean, awesome. the graphics mods are pretty cool. I, I'm not gonna lie about that. There's a there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. It's it, there's a lot of work you got to do. I'll if take you my PS5 on. in November. Yeah, hey, people are it. saying it's what the greatest th- console that they've ever played. People who are like early playing are saying like it is just incredible. I mean, if I was gonna get a console, I would absolutely get the PS5. Are you flying right now, Tony? Yeah. Oh yeah, levitation is baller. He's like going straight. Uh, Doesn't interest me one bit. It like it looks like Doctor <laughs> Strange. Okay, anyway, um, but aren't they saying now that you can't get Sky? You're not gonna be able to get Skyrim on PS5 because Xbox bought Bethesda or something. Oh, oh yeah, Microsoft bought Bethesda. Microsoft did buy Bethesda, but uh. Wait. We don't know yet. I wouldn't be surprised either way. Yeah. Like, you don't spend that much if you're Microsoft to not get something. Like, they might have, like, timed exclusive releases. Like, it comes yeah, out on Xbox what I'm first. Towards. But I don't, like, I don't see them uh, not putting. Uh, it'll, it'll be like. Xbox they would lose over half of their funding. Like, 
ha- over half the people in the world wouldn't buy their game. Or it might force people like it, if people it would have force to them have to buy it, an Xbox. I mean, if I don't know if I would though, but like they could try and turn it into a console seller, but I'm leaning towards Fallout it'll probably 5, be a timed thing. Fallout five, possibly a that New Vegas Xbox New Vegas exclusive. two Elder Scrolls six. Yeah, I haven't played it that one. New Vegas was great. Yeah, you're supposed to be wearing a helmet, so you wouldn't even care what your face looks like, so that's a wasted mod. <laughs> <laughs> mod uh, I don't even person. play in third person. I do. So, I mean, so you play it the worst way. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Seth is such a troll. <laughs> I mean, they just try to convince me that it's better, and it's just not, though. So, I mean, it is. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, I respect it. Yeah, if you're into playing the game wrong and not as good, then yeah. <laughs> oh my <Sure>. god. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. You enjoy that $3,000 computer and I'll just, you know, I'll just play with my vanilla and it's just oh, fine. Oh, bad. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, okay, so some of the mods that I've got, a lot of them are like spell packs mm-hmm. that and like a whole bunch of new different types of spells yeah. that do different things. Like that levitation spell. Mm-hmm. Uh, just showing macho dragons. <laughs> I didn't install that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Thomas the Tank Engine yeah. Dragon. Okay, well, those, 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 those are stupid. Dragon. But the weather and graphics mods and stuff, those are cool. Yeah. And it's, I can oh, understand. Climates and Tamriel is great. Dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's actually one of the mods I actually have installed. Is yeah. uh, Climates and Tamriel. But what it does is just a weather overhaul, pretty much, and it kind of makes the sun look a little bit different. But also, I have an EMB installed called Rudy EMB, which uh, Rudy EMB is. It just makes the yeah it makes and everything, everything the the uh, depth of field all that stuff is different colors everything is different um there was something I was gonna say now when they do like I don't think that they're they're making a mod of Oblivion for Skyrim and I don't figure that'll be on console well, that'd be kind of cool maybe what yeah, I don't yeah, know Sky Oblivion but Sky Oblivion that would be kind of cool to play on PC like because they're making Oblivion good yeah so. Oh, I found you can get emulators for a bunch of different consoles. I'm thinking I might get like a a GameCube emulator at some point and play through like Twilight Princess and stuff. Cool. I thought that was on Wii. Uh, I mean, it was also on GameCube. So yeah, it was also on GameCube. So I have it okay. on GameCube. Yeah. Oh, you can get a Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance emulator on your phone. Really? That's cool. cool. I need a yeah. I'm I'm thinking I might get those and play through the Golden Sun games at some point or something. Okay, what about Among Us? You all gonna talk about that? Y'all been playing? That is just a fun freaking little game on it your is, phone. Right. Like it's a good little party game for a group. Uh, you like I've tried to play with just random people and they have to you chat through the chat room. Talking over Discord or talking in real life is just much better. Like just so much better. Yeah. It's just a little fun game. I hope to get like I would like next time we play, maybe before we start, like everyone to get get it on their phone and just play a quick like match or something just to try it out it takes a little bit because if you don't know how to play the game you have to figure out how to do the tasks and you have to figure out how to run around the map and stuff but me and my in-laws my my, my wife's mom and dad her younger sister her older or her uh, not older the younger. older younger sister uh and her husband all played so there were seven of us just playing in their living room the other night and like like the, the young one who just went through can- cancer and stuff like she's just lying out of her teeth and just freaking her mom out at how good of a liar she is because <laughs> she's like just she's playing it off so well and just murdering everyone and no one knows who it is and like we're all fighting they vote me out like every game because they just think that I'm pos- like I'm they think I play the most and they're afraid I'll be too good oh and they gosh. just vote me off but it's just it's just fun just a fun little game. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll have to check it out. I I'll, did download it. I just haven't played it. I'll be another player for y'all. Tate, we tried to. I mean, we tried to get all y'all because we was playing on Discord over Discord, just talking through Discord. And we had Rachel playing. Tate, he had. Uh, he has a friend from his church. Him and his wife were playing with us. Cynthia was playing with me. Amy is in there now, so we could have easily ten people. Yeah, That'd be really good. Yeah, it's a it's a good game. It's a fun little game. There, it's so good. Actually, it's gotten it's blown up so much. Like, I guess the, this is the only game making money on Twitch right now. Like, really? people 
or have like if you want to make money on Twitch, you have to be playing Among Us. So it'll burn out eventually. But they were planning the creators of Among Us were create because they're because they're streaming them playing mm-hmm. Among Us. Oh, mm-hmm. that's oh my god! Yeah, no, I, I, I watch so much YouTube of people playing, and it, it's just funny because like you hear one person talking, like if they're the imposter or something, like they're like you see how they're going about it, and then they're all trying to figure out who it is if it's not them and stuff. So it's it's fun to watch, and and I understand why it's making so much money on Twitch, like because it's just fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really fun little like party game. But the creators were talking like they were about to start making Among Us Two, but this game has just blown up so crazily. It's they it came out in 2018, I think, and like yeah, it's, it's just like, now catching on, oh, people wow. loving it. And uh, they they actually said we're not going to make that other game. We're just going to uh, fix this one, add on to this one, make it like everything that it could be. And I think a lot of people are pretty excited about it. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Did y'all see that the. Uh, They've changed Peter Parker's face yeah. for the next. Did y'all do you like the new face or do you like the old face? It looks a lot more like uh, what's his face. Tom Holland. Yeah, it looks yeah. a lot more like him. I don't really see that, but a lot of people say that. But do you think the face looks better? Like I, I think it looks better. It looks way younger there. Yeah. I don't know why they made him so young, but I like I do like the face better. And then they've made they added a lot of stuff like uh, like reflection on everything like everything's reflective now, oh, yeah, that's which is RTX. really cool. Yeah, like, I cannot wait the for the PS5, man. Oh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven is gonna be sick. oh, it's gonna be so good. Um, I think I'm gonna get a thirty ninety for it. I really want a thirty ninety in my computer. Don't know what that means. No. <laughs> anyway, I guess we'll sign this thing off. I don't think that looks good, Tyro. Well. You're um, the only one. Once again, check out Tiger Skull RPG. We're about to play a Tiger Skull RPG game. So uh, be looking for that this weekend um, on the podcast channel. Also, go check out our YouTube channel. We've got some 5th edition face-offs up there. Hopefully, you'll have a new one soon, which will be the last uh, fight of the first round. And uh, check us out on Instagram, Facebook. That's it. See you. Fly on. Thanks for listening to this episode of Say It in Common with the Commoners of D&D. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at the Commoners Official so you never miss an episode or anything else. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Commoners, for even more exclusive content. We'll see you next time.